Nation is a food desert. There are only 12 grocery stores for 300,000 residents in a territory the size of West Virginia. This means families often drive over an hour to get groceries. That is an injustice that no one is talking about. Food is our connection to our culture and our traditions. It's my connection to my tribe. Food is a basic human right and I won't rest until that connection is restored for my community and my family. I can't just keep staring at all these injustices and not feel compelled to do something about them. This is my home. I left at a young age, so no, I don't speak the language. I didn't grow up with a lot of the customs my brothers and sisters experienced, but I'm still a Navajo woman. I'm feeling the full weight of what that means for me and my community. My mom, my family, my home. When we are our own sovereignty, how can we not help ourselves? Sahnoi, big aquajon, Vijana Huskly, Vijana Huskly, Vijana Huskly, Vijana Huskly. Yana, you're muted. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I definitely know how to use Zoom. Um, oh, so as Mariana mentioned, I've been in the tech space for the last 10 years um, and recently transitioned into filmmaking for the last two years um, and started this documentary project uh, last year during the pandemic when my mom's family was hit by COVID. So um, as many of you heard, the Navajo Nation had more cases per capita than New York City at one point. Um, so I set out to kind of like dig in and try to figure out why that was happening. And there's a high rate of diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure, heart disease on the Navajo reservation. Um, and that is due to the fact that the Navajo reservation is a food desert. So that means that families often have to drive over an hour to get to the nearest grocery store. Um, so I started filming over the last several months, um, spoke to the tribe. My mom works for the tribe as an attorney and she was able to put me in touch with a number of people who um, have been managing this store that closed a number of years ago. So um, I'm looking to put together a documentary about the process of opening up the grocery store. Um, and I can just put, I put together a pitch deck to kind of just explain the project and what I'm looking to do. Yeah, so the project, we're currently in pre-production. Um, we're planning to start filming towards uh, summer and then the fall of this year. Uh, this is you know, a log line. I can also send this to anyone who's interested, but I have some st statistics on the food desert situation there on the Navajo reservation for roughly 300,000 residents. There are only 12 grocery stores. Um, the store I'm looking to open is something that will definitely happen. Um, what I'm looking to pitch right now is funding for the documentary process. So I'll basically um, be going out there with the production crew through the summer and the fall of this year. Uh, this is just a lookbook of some other films that I definitely like the look and feel of. Uh, this is a technical sheet. It's gonna be a doc about 90 minutes long. Um, we're shooting on Alexa minis. Uh, we've got a crew of about seven people budgeted so far. Uh, we will be looking to distribute this to a number of um, minority, Black, Native American, and female film festivals, um, as well as the major ones like 
TIFF, Sundance, um, and Cannes. This is uh, my team. They've all been working in Los Angeles for about 10 years or so. And uh, I'm probably the newest member, or the person who has the least experience in the film world. Um, but I'm definitely looking forward to putting my business acumen to the test when it comes to ramping up the grocery store. Um, and this is essentially what we're looking for for the uh, documentary budget. So uh, it's a pretty short presentation, but I think the the trailer really speaks for itself. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to go over time. I know that we have our, our clubhouse um, session coming up, but if anyone has any more questions, I'm happy to chat there as well.